All right, uh, this is going to be a video on how to cut rope uh, properly. Um, so, quick tutorial. Uh, first of all, when you're cutting rope, uh, never cut close to the edge. Because uh, if you cut close to the edge of the rope, you're going to get the rope, it's just going to fray apart like this, okay, and uh, not good. Uh, so you never want to cut close to the, to the edge of the rope because then it gets all over. You make a mess and they can't see, obviously they can't see the cut. So please don't do that, okay? Second thing is if a customer is using a straight edge knife, a bad straight edge knife should take, uh, well, you know, a knife that's bad should take anywhere between six to, uh, you know, uh, anywhere, anything six, six strokes or more. That means that that knife is going to be thrown out soon. And the uh, reason why is because, uh, yes, it, it's cutting through the rope and it's a straight edge, so you can sharpen it, but that means, um, but it, that means if it's going through six, seven, eight strokes, that means it, it, it's not being sharpened, and the customer probably doesn't know how to sharpen it, and probably never will. Uh, with a serrated edge knife, if you have something like this, like a little serrate, little tiny serrations, uh, this will go through the rope when it's brand new in one shot. So don't be scared and be like, oh my god, oh my god, it went through in one shot. Okay, it has all these little tiny points. Uh, all those points will rip through rope. Okay, again, show that show that this the cut and the sound of the of the of the product going through the rope, Mrs. Jones, and Understand that once this goes dull, and you go, Miss Jones, you know, hey, it went through in one shot there, um, and that, that's how long, how old is that knife? Usually about, it's only about five or six years old, or, or excuse me, uh, usually about two or three or even six months old. And you go, Miss Jones, in that cut like that now, uh, but as time goes on, once those points wear off, you know, it's not going to cut like that anymore, and uh, and you can't sharpen that knife, okay, with a straight edge knife. So so just take it in stride, okay. Act as this, act as if that's supposed to happen. If a straight edge knife like this is taking three, four, uh, three or four strokes to the rope, that is not good. That's horrible, okay. That means that the points are starting to wear down to the point. Remember, they can never sharpen this type of knife. So if it's taking them three, four, five strokes with a serrated knife. Forget it, guys, okay? They're sawing through stuff. Uh, that knife is going to be thrown out very soon, and it can never get better, all right? So just understand, straight edges should take more, okay? Uh, they can be sharpened, but again, if they, they're not, uh, and serrated edges will take less. They cut faster, so people buy a lot of them, uh, but uh, they can never be sharpened and they're thrown out, okay? So there's a lot of junky serrated edge knives out there, so be prepared for that. Okay, so now, when you cut the rope, all right. You have the customer start with their knives first. All right. So you hold one side, they hold the other side, and then they pull it tight. Okay. Go, Miss Jones, and you have them start with their knives. So say, here you go. Take your knives. Okay. Now, now what they normally do is they put it up here. Okay. They put it up in the front. So what I'll say to Mrs. Jones, I go, Miss Jones, ooh, can you be fair to your knife and can you start all the way from the back and can you use full strokes and go all the way back and all the way forward until you get through? And I go, oh, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so 21 strokes. Now you see with a straight edge, it makes a nice straight cut. Um, just takes 21 strokes. Okay, so I'll do the same thing with the serrated edge. I'll go again. Uh, usually I have Mr. Jones do it if he's there, just because I wanted to get the rope. But again, I, I start, you see how I start them from the back, okay? You just kind of pull the, the you pull this part of the knife here uh, until you get them to the back, okay? And you go use the full blade again, okay? And go ahead. Oh, you got through in one, okay? So really put a lot of pressure there. Got through in one, all right? So uh, again, it's a brand new serrated knife. I say, oh, okay, Mr. Jones. So now you see that cut though, okay? And you heard how it sounds. I'll see if there's a difference between ours and that one. All right, so try it with ours. Again, start from that side. Okay, uh, so much faster, and you'll see a much nicer cut. Okay, so, um, so don't be afraid of straight edge knife going through one shot, guys. Okay, act as if. All right, and I say, oh, I say, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Okay, thank you. Uh, I say, uh, I say, uh, th now not only will our knife cut like that today, but it'll cut like that t 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Uh, it'll cut just like that. Okay, so. Um, that's about that. Um, by the way, also sometimes uh, they'll have a big knife like this. So if it's a big serrated edge knife, here's how it'll cut. Just so you can hear the sound. Start from the back. There you go. <laughs> I got Steve. He's a, lot of, and he's, he's a strong guy. Okay? So yeah. um, but you see the cut again. It's all ripped up and frayed up. So again, don't be afraid of. The, this is not a good knife, guys. This laser stainless garbage. Okay. Sometimes reps see this. That's the purpose. Of, I took this out and I had to go through the rope in one shot. So you don't go, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, this is junk. It's five dollars at a uh, in a store uh, in a garage in a you know in any store. It's probably not five, probably like fifteen bucks for this. But you know, as this thing goes down, as these teeth wear off, 
Yeah, that's it. It's done. So just understand that. All right, uh, that's cutting the rope. Please cut the rope properly. Please make sure you use the petite carver. It's got a brown handle, not the um, sure. not the trimmer. Okay, with the white handle. All right, so uh, that's it. How to cut rope.